Hey y'all, welcome back to 25 Sweet Peas. So today I'm continuing the red carpet nail art series and I did have plans to put two different looks in this video but plans didn't go accordingly. So I have one new nail art look for you today and it is inspired by one of the dresses worn by one of the High M sisters. So let's take a look at the dress and then I will start to show you how to create the nails. So first, of course, you want to start with your favorite base coat, and then you're going to let that dry and move on to a very, very sheer light pink polish. Basically, you're creating a negative space look, so you want something sheer that'll just kind of perfect your natural nail look. And in this case, I used Zoya's Bella, which was in the Bridal Bliss collection, and it's an old re-release. So if you want to see more about this polish, check the cards up top. And now what I'm doing is I'm going to go in with some black acrylic paint and put a straight line across my nail. This is kind of going to be the guideline that everything else is going to be based off of. Now here I'm putting a dot in the middle of my nail at the top of the cuticle of course and then pulling it down to create a triangle shape and on the sides of that triangle we're just going to fill them in with black. Now for this step I am using black acrylic paint. If you feel more comfortable using nail polish that is perfectly fine as well. I just find that sometimes when you're using black it can be kind of tricky to clean up and acrylic paint isn't as hard to clean up and when you're in your cuticle area I just figured black acrylic paint is going to be easier to work with than nail polish if you have any little mishaps which I mean if it happens it happens and it's okay so here I am just filling it in and that is it it doesn't have to be perfect and if it is that's great but if not you know what you can always go back in with a dotting tool or you can go in with some like remover just to clean up the inside bit even it will work <laughs> as you can see I have completely made like a frame at the top of my nail and then I'm gonna let that black dry while that black is drying I'm gonna go ahead and take some white acrylic paint and go along the bottom of the black line this is just kind of to give me a guideline and a bit of a space filler before I go in with actual nail polish so this line definitely does not have to be perfect. If you want to bring it down on the edges a little bit, that'll actually help when you're filling it in with polish because I've figured that instead of painting the whole nail with acrylic paint, it just made sense to put in a white to guide and then fill the rest in with regular nail polish because you can use your regular nail brush as I am doing here and just filling it in with white and you won't be able to tell a difference. For the white, I am using Taco Lacquer's Vice, which is it's a great white if you guys have it. I don't know if it's available currently or if it will be available, but if you ever get a chance to get Taco's Vice, it's really good. And that is it for that bit. I'm going to let that dry, and then I'm going in with some black dots. These do not have to be uniform. I'm using the tip of my brush just so I can get some really tiny ones and some varied sizes. And they're not supposed to be perfect because if you look on the dress, they're kind of scattered throughout and all different shapes. Not all different shapes, but all different sizes, I should say. And I'm just going to put little dot clusters. I definitely don't want to cover the whole nail in dots because there is like another step of black art that we're going to be doing that might overlap some of the dots. So you do want some of that space just to create a more a cohesive look that will match the dress. And now I'm going in and creating some little black triangles. Now there aren't actually triangles on her dress, but later I will show you guys the dress again. And if you notice, at the bottom she's kind of got like pleats that are black portions. So I thought to kind of bring that aspect in, I would add the black triangles just to give it a little something else and make it more fun. It's kind of like a geometric look, which is fun and different. Definitely not something I do often, although I say that and I feel like I've done two recently. What can I say? I guess I'm branching out. And I'm just going to scatter those throughout my nail. Have some hanging off the sides of the edge just to give it a full look. Makes it look um, cohesive. How many times can I say cohesive in a video? Hmm. I don't know. And once I'm done with that, I'm just going to let it dry. Once everything is dry, I'm going to go ahead and put on a shiny top coat. You can also put on a matte top coat. Whatever fits your fancy will work perfectly. You definitely want to make sure that it's one that's not going to smudge because you don't want to smudge that art that you just spent all that time on. 
and that is it. You want to let that dry, and we're going to take a look at the final manicure now. And here it is. It's so pretty. I think I really enjoyed wearing it. It's different for me, and it's just fun. Now we're going to take a look at the dress. You can kind of see how the negative space came into the nail design from the torso part of the dress and then we got the like triangle bits for the pleats. And that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this other red carpet manicure look. If you haven't already seen the other one, be sure to check that one out next. I will leave it in one of the boxes below so you guys can check it out. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you definitely want more nail videos like this in the future for red carpet looks, be sure to let me know in the comments. Also, if there's any other details you want to know about products that I used, be sure to check out today's blog post and any links for any of the products I will leave in the description box below. Again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye!